Hey royalties, so you know that scripture in the Bible that says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. It's quite very easy for everyone to quote that scripture, except you are really in the public forum where the spotlight and the floodlight is on you and you are still bold enough to profess your faith. And this is the reality of a lot of celebrities. They are Christians, some of them maybe in their closet, but some are bold enough to declare their faith regardless of their position in society. And Tamara Mori has made it clear over time, years back, even now that she is a woman who would always be bold to profess her faith and to live her life according to the principle of God's word. So in a recent post, Tamara Mori educates her followers on what true happiness really means in her comment section. And guys, it was quite some wholesome replies she gave to her followers. But before we get right into it, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl royalty back with another video. If this is your first time, you're so welcome. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are so welcome. You know you are the re MVP. Thank you. So you guys, Tamara Mori made an Instagram reel where she captioned it, do what makes you happy glorifies God. That is, do what makes you happy cancel to actually do what glorifies God. And this is so true. I've had this conversation with a lot of people several times. Like sometimes what makes you happy may not glorify God. Sometimes what makes you happy may hurt hurt other people. Sometimes what makes you happy in the grand scheme of things may not really make you happy at the very end, but what glorifies God eventually will make you happy. And so if she's seen enjoying life, the beauty of nature and having a good time with her pets. And in the caption of this post, she says, for me, glorifying God means everything. Happiness is temporary, but joy that comes from him is lasting. Everything we do to honor and glorify him is worth it. And then she had all those hashtag mom, mom life, mommy's parent life, parent, Tamara, Tamara, Maury, married, family, family life, keeping it real. And you guys, initially when I saw this post, there was a lady who tried to bring in a little bit of drama, but unfortunately I did not scream grab that comment y'all know i don't like to be messy with this drama and all of those otherwise i should have known to have grabbed it you know to screen grab it but i did not the lady was saying something i don't know if any of y'all saw it the lady was saying something about oh i love you tamara but this is giving subliminary message to tia you kind of talking to Tia, I feel like you should pick up your phone. I'm just kind of paraphrasing, but she was saying something along those lines. I think you and your sister can talk it out, whatever. I love you both, Tia and Tamara. And then Tamara, the reply was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not going to do that here. H hey, to the no. You know, Tamara just put a quick full stop to the BS. Like this page is not for drama. She did not address anything about uh, whether she or Tia or the news, she just said, no, no, we're not going to do that here. We don't do all those drama here. This is not a page. And she quickly nipped it at the board so elegantly. Oh my God. I really wish that I screen grabbed this because I have checked through the comment. It looks like the, uh, originator of the comment deleted it because of course people came for her like, Hey girl, you must be new here. Tamara have been posting posts like this, like long before now. It has nothing to do with the drama in your head or the drama on the blogs. If you've been following Tamara, you know, this is the nature of her content, which I quite agree. Well, I don't have that comment to show to you, so let's not dwell on it much. However, Tamara also had some wholesome replies to her followers, like people who genuinely wanted to know more about what she was talking about, do what glorifies God and know what makes you happy. There was a commenter that says, why does happiness have to be temporary? And Tamara replies, because it's situational. Joy is knowing in all of it, God is in control. And I quite agree. Another follower of her says, 
says, can you explain what you mean by temporary happiness? I'm confused on that. I'm a child of God myself, but I feel like glorifying God and doing what makes you happy can both happen at the same time. But I also have different beliefs as you respectfully OFC. And of course, Tamara replied, she says, it means happiness is based on early experiences and material things. I'm thinking she's trying to say earthly experiences and material things. She says, God doesn't want us to solely rely on our happiness to make us whole. He knows we will always end up void. Only God can fulfill us fully. Of course, we experience happiness in this world because it's a God-given emotion. However, relying fully on God and having a personal relationship with Him and knowing His Word gives you joy. And that's so true. I keep telling people there's a difference between happiness and joy. You see that joy that comes from from the Holy Ghost, that joy that comes from God, it superimposes earthly happiness. When Tamara says temporary, anything can make you happy at the moment. You're having a good time with your friends. It's temporary. What happens when they all go back to their homes? You're having a good time because you are eating something. What happens when you're done eating the whole can of ice cream? You are anything material based or situation based because you're on vacation the joy should come from the inside and when it comes from the inside it superimposes those earthly feelings and you'll find that as things that are supposed to bring you down cannot bring you down and you keep maintaining your joy i'll take one more comment another user says i've been feeling distant from god lately and losing a little bit of hope how do you stay connected to him for joy tamara replied saying he never leaves us nothing can separate the love of god from us hard to believe but it's true just turn towards him and make the time to get to know him how by reading his word you guys i mean i didn't mean to preach but tamara has already done the preaching for us and it's such such beautiful wholesome comments on her page like if you go through you just see all the the comments how she was replying her, her followers it was just wholesome educating women like this i feel like it's beautiful to see especially in a time where everybody is is self-conscious just all about me 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 you know tamara is doing the lord's work if you ask me and i feel like this is beautiful but what are your thoughts you guys on um tamara's comment about temporary happiness and doing what glorifies god rather than what makes her happy and what do you think about the first um commenter who later deleted her post talking about she might be indirectly trying to address her sister do you also see that or you feel like girl like no don't do that don't do that on tamara's speech it's not up for that drama <laughs> you know like hey this is tamara she's always been posting content like this if that is you leave your thought in the comment section but if you feel like girl are you trying to pass a message to your sister to search for happiness you know in god you know you can just pick up your phone and call her if that is you also leave your comment in the comment section for that user who deleted her post i get it because the people were coming for her i mean she was posting her opinion whatever thing she wrote i just felt like it was on the wrong page not on tamara's page it's all love and light here as you can see people are just being blessed and tamara is really just blessing them with more explanation that's the kind of comment she would put on the shade room <laughs> and not on tamara's direct page but what are your thoughts you guys as for tia her reality show launched already and i watched the first episode hmm there's just a lot to talk about that maybe i'm going to talk about it on another video but all i can say is that you guys if you love tia maybe you love her for who she is or you love her from the her sister sister show back in the day just pray for tia y'all just pray for tia that's all i'm gonna say right now until i probably do a video to talk about that episode well you guys share your thoughts in the comment section as always thank you for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye bye